Guys, it's Nice Galore here, here with another video. Today, gonna be a little bit different from my normal ones. I've got this uh, old bike tool here that my friend gave me. He doesn't want it anymore, but I think this is good steel and we can make a nice knife out of it. So first thing we're gonna do, start making the design. I was thinking about having this portion here be the blade, and then start making a handle with that having a kind of karambit style hole in it. So we'll just cut that bit off there. Think I'll take it bit further back than I was originally going to just for ease of holding and it will be something like that I think okay and that's the design portion uh, now we're gonna get really into it and yeah this I'm is just gonna be remove some of this excess steel which is just gonna get in the way and it's not part of the design at all so I'm just gonna take a hacksaw to it really quickly Right, that's that bit done. Uh, a nice trick I like to do sometimes is you just get a file, you just use the corner of a half round file, just dig it in a bit, and it'll create a nice little notch you to put your hacksaw into. Don't do it too hard because, of course, files are very brittle and don't really like having anything being done to it. You might hear me be a bit snuffly today because I'm I'm a little bit ill and not having a great time. But I still want to make videos. Uh, that's the general knife shape for the knife portion. Just going to grind that bit away probably. And now I'm going to start working on the backer portion of the knife which is going to be fun. And just have a quick think about how I'm going to cut it. Alright, I'm going to cut this off camera right so I can have a think about it and you guys won't laugh at me when I get it wrong. Okay, so I'll see you after cutting hey all this guys, off, right? guys, I've roughly cut everything out now with a hacksaw, but there's still a little bit on there that I'll want to take off and just do a little bit of shaping with. I could do it with a file, but I thought I'd be a bit different and use the grinder this time, just because I think it's getting lonely and it needs a bit of love, this thing. So, yeah, I'm just going to grind a little bit off. It's not very much, not very taxing on the grinder. So, yeah, I'm just going to start off by doing that. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's how I want it to look now. It looks quite knife-like at the moment. It's, it's quite nice to hold. It's kind of a three-finger type design, so it's not going to be a massive knife just because I didn't have that much material. But yeah, it looks all right so far. And I'm just going to clean it up a bit with a file and do a little bit of design work along the top. And then we'll be ready for grinding. And then after that heat okay, treat, I'm just going to use a little needle file to create some little dents down here. I'm just going to... Create little dents like that all along just for design reasons more than anything. They don't actually suit any function. But they should look nice at the end, which is all I'm really interested in. Quite 
back to myself. Finished doing everything now, that's the, what the, the design looks like. I'm just going to start grinding there, beveling, you know, all that. Um, yeah, and that's all I have to do after that. Um, heat tree and possibly paracord wrap it or something like that. Maybe I'll just leave it like that even, but... Yep, that's all I have to do for this knife. Only going to be a little short video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm going to get right into it. finished all the grinding and everything I've created a nice little bevel it's about yeah about 10 mil each side which is pretty good I've a few misses there where the grinder slips slightly but I can clear all that up with a file and just a bit of wet and dry paper by doing that a bit then that's fine and yeah um, generally all I'm gonna do now is just polish it up a bit with uh, draw filing just in the vise you get your, uh, your file, you do that, all you do is pulling the grain one way, as I've explained in previous videos, which makes it a lot easier to wet and dry paper. There you go, as you can see now, hopefully, all the grain is flowing one way. I'm going to do that in most places, except for the blade and this nice crenellated bit there. But, yeah, that's it, I think. Um, yeah, after that we'll do heat treat. I think I'll film heat treat this time because some of you seemed interested in it. So, yeah, um, that's all I'm going to do for now. Okay guys, all I've done at the moment for the heat treatment is put some coal in the bottom, built a little tower of kindling, I've got some slightly larger stuff which I'm going to put on top and that's really all I'm going to do. So I'm just going to get some fire lighters. Just using standard fire lighters that you can buy from any shop. You don't need very many for this, just maybe one or two. I'll just be using probably two, yeah. Just put them in the middle. Just get a lighter. Light them, put a few on top, just to catch, then put these on top of that. They'll catch, I'll leave that for probably half an hour, that'll go, these will be on fire, then the coal will start getting some heat into it, then I'll put the knife on top, then I'll put some coal over the knife. And that's the heat treatment process, and I'll see you in half an hour. See that was glowing? Pretty hot. That's pretty cold. Well, that's the heat treatment process. Now I've just got to go and clean up all the scale. Look after the heat treatment, and it's it's very well coaly and covered in muck. That's not particularly attractive looking, or it does have some kind of attractiveness in its own way. But well, you can see how it's uh, more scaled on the front and not as scaled on the back. Because as I put it in the in the forge. The blade side went into the heart of the fire more 
because I wanted that bit to be the hardest. This part has to be really hard to hold the edge. This part, not particularly bothered on because, well, I'm not going to actually use it as a tool or anything, it's just part of the handle, so... You know, that's really all that's for. Uh, say if I was to go and take this to the grinder now, the grinder would have a much harder time of doing anything on it. It probably could take away something from this bit, but nothing really anywhere else. So I'm just going to go ahead and start cleaning it up with my vise and with a bit of wet and dry paper and possibly some files if it gets really tough. But yeah, that's all I plan to do now. Okay guys, this is what it looks like after a little bit of um, uh, spine polishing and face polishing. I don't want to polish it too much, just because it would remove some of this beautiful overheated steel. Because when I left it in the furnace, um, I left it in there a bit too long and the steel on the surface just started to melt and uh, merge with each other. But I personally think that leaves a really nice finish to it. What I am quite annoyed with myself for is not getting rid of these um, filing marks first. That I am rather annoyed with myself with, but overall it does look like a really nice looking blade actually. But yeah, that's all I think I'm going to do to it, except I might buff it now, just to make the shiny bits really shiny and really contrast with the darker bits. So I'm just going to do that now. Well, this is what it looks like at the moment. I think it looks quite good actually, the shininess compared to it, but um, yeah, I'm just going to do the other side quickly off camera because, well, I don't think you guys want to see the same thing repeated, but yeah, uh, now all I've got to show you is it completely finished and then handling, which is, well, interesting. I think i probably going to end up doing some, something boring like a paracord wrap again, but don't hold me to that. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys okay, in a minute. Okay, this is it. Uh, finished buffing and all. Honestly, I think it looked a little bit better beforehand. It looked kind of dirty and a bit more primitive and crude, but... Oh, well, it's done now, and... Yeah, it still looks quite nice. If you look at the other side, it's kept a little bit of the um, carbon on, on top and on the, a bit of the blade. Uh, but... Yeah, yes, it's nice looking. Uh, handle's all been buffed as well. All this bit's buffed, all this bit's buffed. And the crenellation's been buffed as well. Um, yeah, it's all quite nice. Just going to have a quick think about uh, what kind of handle I'm going to do. Sorry, guys. Probably going to paracord wrap it again. I know it's kind of a cop-out handle, but I really don't think a an actual handle would suit this. It's just not the kind of knife I think that it would work with. Especially, I'd have to drill a hole here to do that. Uh, that would be, have to be hexagonal as well. And... I can't really do that, so I'm probably going to end up paracord wrapping it. Um, I think I'll go with green this time rather than the multicolored type thing I did last time, the rainbow colored, which uh, I know most of you thought was a little bit odd. So yeah, I'm just going to go get that and we'll start paracord wrapping it. Okay guys, this is the knife design I went for. I quite like it at the moment, especially since I use the hole um, incorporated into the design. It holds quite well, although your pinky finger does tend to slip off it a bit. Simply because I didn't have enough material really because I cut it out of a bike tool. But yeah, it's a really nice knife. I like it. I'm going to do a little sharpening tutorial um, in a minute specifically for this one. I know I've already done a video, but I'm going to show how I sharpen this one specifically anyway. Just because, I mean, you can never have too much knowledge, I mean. So that's what's coming up now, all right? Oh, 
okay so it's not particularly sharp but it will cut paper and it will moderately do the paper test which is which is kind of what I'm after anyway it's a really hard knife I could go and head and sharpen it to really really sharp which is a technical unit but anyway I'm really happy with this knife uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys have a good day okay guys moving on to the sharpening I've just added some oil to my sharpening stone soaked in quite well at the moment I've duct taped my system down as well so that it won't move while I'm trying to sharpen it and not my not my uh, recording equipment over as I did when I was practicing it the first time so you know the hold one hand on the handle one hand on the end of the knife you push forward you pull back make sure to get all the knife but because this blade is so small it incorporates the whole knife which is quite nice and you just do this for a while make sure to count the number of strokes I'm on 11 Right, I just did 13 there, I've created quite a nice angle on that. Now what I'm going to do, change hands. Uh, I'm left handed so I can work either hand really, I'm a little bit ambidextrous. But if not, you can always turn yourself around to work with it. So all you have to do here, try and find roughly the same angle. It doesn't have to be quite exact. Most knife makers or knife sharpeners even, just down to that will go, you have to have the same angle. You do, it's very important, but this knife it's it's a fun knife it's not a high grade something that I will sell this is going to be a present for my friend so all I want is to for it to have a nice edge and my friend can use it so Try and use the whole stone as well, that also helps. Okay, and that's ow, I've just actually just torn through the skin with that. So this knife is now a functional knife. This will work, it'll do all the knife stuff, all, all that good stuff you think a knife can do, it, it'll do that now, which is good. I've now got a working knife. If you guys can come up with a name with it for it, that'd be nice. I mean quite like to be able to call it something when I give it to my friend but yeah so uh, if you want to see me do anything with this knife besides the paper test which I'll show you guys in a minute um, that'll, that'll be it for this knife really I, I don't really want to spray paint it or anything like that and that's as far as I'm going to take it I think so well thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll just end this video with the paper test so I'll see you guys next episode That's what happens if you use it too much. That's looking alright at the moment. It's a little bit matted still, but I can probably buff that and clean it up there. So that's pretty much that done. Time to move on to face polishing.